What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online solo money glitch video. But before we get to the video, I want to talk about things that are working right now because I see in the comments section some people are saying that certain vids are patched and I definitely know they're not. Now, the uh, frozen money glitch is actually still working, okay? I still have that as the main video on my channel there that I posted like a week ago. That's actually still working. Frozen money works perfectly fine. So if you want to hit that, you are more than welcome to. Uh, apart from frozen and money the gift cards to friends glitch the last one i posted that works as well i'll leave links to those down in the description of this video so you guys can check them out but uh yeah as far as solo money glitches go we're gonna do this one right here founders are down in the description like always and uh what you're gonna need for this glitch is i recommend being in a free aim session so that we can get some targeting mode alerts you're gonna need an moc with the personal vehicle storage remember i said you want to store an elegy retro custom or an issy in there i have a future shock issy those vehicles will sell for the most and those will sell uh good for good money when you dupe them okay don't dupe deluxos or anything like that you're gonna need an arcade with a certain machine that i'll show you here in a little bit and uh elegies in the arcade okay and a little bit of spending money okay but it's not that bad so right here you see me with the issy the car that i'm gonna dupe that's in the back of my moc and just so you know the arcade machine that we're gonna need to be using is called the uh the uh love professor machine okay so it's like 200k but that's the one you want in your arcade so park the car that you're gonna dupe right there either your issy or your retro right there in the bunker okay just like the other glitches guys now what you're gonna do is at this point this is where you would call out your ceo buzzard or go ahead and job teleport like i'm gonna do right here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and press square or x on xbox and that'll activate the job and once i go into the job right here i'm just gonna join somebody in a different targeting mode just to make it you know quicker for the video I have somebody in the party that I can join off of, accept the first alert, decline the second, and you'll teleport there, okay? So you guys can use anybody on your friends list, anything like that to teleport, or a CEO buzzard to do it without anyone. That's up to you. And uh, yeah, you want to teleport over to your arcade. All right, so this is the arcade right here. I'm going to go in through the garage uh, just to open up that one machine to head down. It doesn't really matter for this one. You're not you're not really stuck like the other uh, like the other glitches that we've done here in the arcade. But you'll see what I mean here in a second. So if you guys don't have that Love Professor machine, you want to go down over to your computer down there in the basement, and you can order it from there, and it'll be delivered pretty quick. But this is what it looks like right here in the arcade. All right, it's this machine all the way over here to the right so you want to stand more towards the left and get the right d-pad option you see that i got the d-pad option now once we have the right d-pad option what you want to do is press pause and if you go over to cruise you can do this completely solo uh, and join people that you know aren't on your friends list but you want to go to cruise leaderboards and once it all loads up you can view members of every you know crew that's up there and you could just join them remember i said be in a free session so join them and you should be able to get a targeting mode alert i couldn't because the rocks are you know servers are really bad right now so once again i'm just going to go join the person that i have in the party real quick just to get targeting mode so i'm going to join them right here i know they're an assisted i'm going to accept the first alert decline the second all right here we go First alert, the second, there we go. All right, so at this point, you just want to go ahead and press pause again, go over to jobs, play jobs, rocks are created, missions, and start up a titan of a job, okay? Now, once you're starting it up, you want to go ahead and hit right D-pad, and that's going to actually activate the machine in the background and wait 10 seconds before accepting this alert, okay? So that's what we're doing right now. So now that you've accepted it, we're here in this frozen part, you know, you want to go ahead and press pause, go to online, and at this point, once I once I kind of stop getting great out there, we're going to do targeting mode again. OK, accept the first alert, decline the second. Go to cruise. Do your thing there. Now we're still frozen a little bit. Go ahead and press pause. Go over to the online tab and we're actually going to start up a Titan of a job one more time. All right. So Titan of a job right here in missions. Accept the alert. Once that one pops up, the job is no longer available. That's normal. Once you've accepted that, you're going to be in this state now. Okay, go over to the pause menu and you're going to head over to the shark cards. Okay, activate the shark cards and then just simply back out of the menu. Very important, do not move at this point. All right, we've unfrozen, we're good, don't move. Now, before we can move, we have to do this little thing here. So go ahead and open up your phone, head over to the internet, and all we have to do simply is renovate the arcade in some way. And we're gonna do it the cheapest way, okay? So go ahead and enter the uh, Maze Bank foreclosure site, and you wanna head over to your arcade. All right, go over to your arcade and hit renovate. 
Now, once you've hit renovate, go over to the mural. This is the cheapest option. Put it to a different option right there. Just hit buy, minus 25K, nice and simple. Once you've done that, go ahead and exit out. Now you're free to move. Okay, now you're actually free to move about the arcade and what you simply want to do is go ahead and run over to the garage that we entered in, you know, previous. There we go. The basement over here. As you can see, the Rockstar servers failed again in the bottom left there. So, uh, yeah, once you run over to the basement, remember, I said you want to have a bunch of elegies in here to dupe over. And uh, here's the elegy I'm going to be duping over in this part. And what we're going to be doing is going over, stand next to the car just like this. Open up your phone and we're going to repurchase the old, you know, thing we got rid of over here in the uh, menu. So go over to renovate, head over to the mural and we're going to get the old mural back. Okay, the old one. You see, that's the one I had back before. So I'm going to buy that. So it cost me roughly 70 grand to do this part. So I'm just going to buy it, exit out and don't move at all right now. Okay, so here we go. What you're going to do is you're going to get into the car by pressing Y or triangle. When the door fully opens, you're going to proceed to hold B or circle. Your character will then disappear. Once your character has disappeared, you let go of circle and you hold gas until the black screen. So here we go. I'm going to get into the car. The door is fully open. I'm going to hold B or circle. Character disappears. I'm going to let go of circle and I'm going to hold the gas. Okay. And I'm going to hold the gas until I see a black screen. And here we go. Black screen should be coming up. It's like super slow mode. There we go. Okay, once you hit the black screen, you let go. I hope that was slow enough for you guys because that part can be a little bit tricky, but if you do it exactly the way you saw it there, you should be fine, okay? So once you see the black screen, you let go of the trigger, and if you've done it all correctly, you should spawn outside just like this, all right, without the car. Just that simple. Now, once you've done this, this is the part again, call out a CEO buzzard or job teleport. I have to stress this. Some people say when they go back to their bunker, they don't see their car. That's because you're calling a personal vehicle out on the map. All right, if you call out a personal vehicle, that car that you put in the bunker will move back into the MOC. OK, just so you guys know, that's why these are the two options, a CEO buzzard or job teleporting. Or if you really want to, you could drive a streetcar all the way back. OK, that's your other option. So. Once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do targeting mode, except the first alert to climb the second when I load up this job circle that's over near my bunker. I recommend, highly, highly recommend trying to get somebody to join off of like that because it it just it'll make this glitch 10 times easier for you guys so once i'm over here by the bunker i'm just going to simply run over and uh, get into it and remember this car is going to be here because at no point in this video did you see me call out a personal vehicle all right that's important so head over to the car you should see the plate change right here as i get inside as you can see there 48 cz that's a completely brand new plate uh and this is your dupe all right head over to your moc hit right d-pad you'll get the full alert because the old one's in there now the old dupe or yeah the uh, the original car transferred over to the arcade and the new dupe is here in the moc and it's fully saved and if you'd like to rinse and repeat just like the other ones guys you want to go ahead and drive this right out of the bunker and park it in the spot and then just redo the glitch all right start the video over if you know you get confused at that part with the arcade and uh re-watch it all right it's uh it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it all right you do it a few times and uh you can get a rhythm so uh yeah guys that's gonna be it for me i hope you really enjoyed this video here make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new like my videos support me in any way you can watch all my playlists that always helps a lot and uh yeah follow me on social media go to twitter follow me on there head over to twitch and also follow me on twitch because that's how you're gonna know when i do future live streams i'll probably post a video or two kind of explaining how that's gonna work uh here in a little bit on the channel but uh yeah guys that's it Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.